Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and welcome back to Battlefield 5. Are you ready? We're about to hit the slopes. However, I'm not sure about you, but I've never actually been skiing, so we're going to re be relying on Janet a lot here. We've got three objectives, much like the Underlow Flag mission. We've got to head to the village, the depot, and the Docklands. Obviously, we've got this beautiful downhill terrain here, so... Oh, is that a big... No, okay, so is that a big crevice? Um, so, I guess we'll head with the village. Should I do some recon first? Oh, crap. I don't think we have... Okay, we don't have binoculars like Billy Bridger did. So I did accidentally equip my throwing knife. It's fine, it's alright, it happens to everyone. How do I get my skis out again? The most important part of skiing is being on skis. Is it this? Oh, there's my binoculars! <laughs> okay, we're learning. That's a village. Somehow, just looks like a formation of rocks to me. Oh, God, okay, so Nordy still has that weird thing. If you zoom, zoom in on your binoculars... It goes absolutely crazy. The most sensitive thing you've ever felt. Uh, there's a Docklands. Okay. And then last but not least, the Depot. All right. But how do I get my skis out? Oh, what am I doing? I just threw... A, what is that? A grenade? I don't know. So there must be something I'm missing. <laughs> so that's a throwing knife. That's binoculars. That's a lure. Oh my god. Oh, I got my skis out somehow. I think I pressed down. I'm very sorry for this uh, lackluster gameplay here. Showing off my incredible prowess when it comes to skiing. But the game's not clear. <laughs> there wasn't a button prompt or anything. Okay, 700 metres away. Thankfully the game's trash, but Janet's pretty cool. So I think she'll be fine. Should we try and do a jump? A cool ski jump? Yeah, ski jump. I don't know if we caught air there or not. But we have gone off track towards the village. I think I pressed down to get these out. I've got to remember. I mean, obviously it begs the question, how do I put them away? And I think we've accidentally headed towards the docks first. <laughs> this has got to be an absolute shit show! Oh! My God. Okay, we're fine. We're absolutely fine. Ah, oh, we may be able to salvage this. Another jump there. Nice! It's like SSX Tricky, if, S if SSX Tricky was the worst game on earth. Destroy the police intelligence. Okay, how do I get off these damn skis? Whew. We did it. <laughs> I think that was rather smooth. Did we look dishevelled, I think? We need to get some third person camera. I can just imagine if you could see what Jello looked like now, she'd be covered in snow with twigs. You know, like sticking out of her hair, cuts down her face. But, I'm sure we're just fine. Got to destroy the police intelligence. Okay, uh, intelligence. Why? What's what intelligence do they have? I think we need to destroy heavy water or something. Our mum told us before she pushed us uh, pushed us off a bridge. Bit of a turbulent relationship with our mother. She may have guessed. How about we just knock on this uh, friendly looking door? Okay. Hello. Is anyone home? Everywhere seems to be abandoned. What about in here? Nope. Okay. There's no door to cover that up, that'd be so jarring. Anyway, what's what's up here? It's probably a letter that we can't read in game. So what's the deal here? Is the reasoning that everyone that all, every house is empty is because it's occupied Norway and the Germans have made them leave their homes? Is that it? I don't know. Or is it just really lazy design? Because the houses just do not look lived in. It looks like a house I made on House Flipper. I mean, that's kind of selling house flipper short. If you've got the skills and the artistic eye, you can make house flipper houses are awesome. I have neither of those. But anyway, back to the story at hand. We need to get to this police station and probably kill a bunch of Germans. We only have the MP gun at the moment. But I'm confident that'll be enough. Ooh, good thing we uh, crouched here. Wait, who's that sniffing? Was that me sniffing? Was that you sniffing? Do you have a cold? Should have been on duty when you had a cold. That stuff will kill you. <laughs> Uh, what we got here? Hold to pick up. Oh, yeah, it's a press pistol. There we go. No, it's just role play this as James Bond. There's an alarm right there as well. Oh, but also a guard. Couldn't quite see him. Oh. Okay, that's just Janet speaking to us. Breaking the fourth wall. Something about documents being underground. What, what, what? What's that German saying? Huh? Oh god, I need a translator of some sort. Oh my god, two more. Okay, we'll go this way. What I want to do is get to that alarm. Oh, no. 
Kirby State still might be alright. That wasn't the cleanest of kills. And that German's moved now. Can you see me? No, you can't see me. <laughs> We've messed this up. We were stealthy for five minutes. But now we try and stay stealthy. We do a throwing knives. There we go. The throw is the throw ever. Maybe through this door. The metal door. The metal door. Oh, it opened. Beautiful. Can we close it? Yes, we can. Hmm, what a weird setup. I mean, we're not going to kink shame, but... Is this really the most hygienic place to do this sort of stuff? Okay, right. I don't think they know where we are. Can't get inside that blue box. We can destroy the police intel. Oh my god! Okay, Whoa, what are you doing? The huge jump. Alright, maybe we should just get on with this, but... This is the police intelligence? A weird old school lava lamp? Or is it just a lamp? Oh, is this it here? Okay. Is that our mum? Who's that? Who's that? Crap. He wasn't meant to come in here, dude. Okay, let's just get on with it. Oh, what a vicious young woman you are, Janet. New objectives. Recon and occupation strong points. Okay. Can I get out? How we just put our skis back on? There we go. Our trusty skis never let us down once. Crap. Okay, now, where do we go? <laughs> We're just going to ski on out of here. See you later, suckers. So there's one 500 metres away. Yeah, we went the wrong way for this, didn't we? Can I hop back over this little wall? Um, no, not quite. So I need to go up, really. Okay. We will get better at this. And now she's just walking. You know what? Sod it. I saw a truck back there that I'm tempted to take. Actually, maybe we'll just go up this way. I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of running. No, you know what? We'll take the truck. We'll head back into this village. There it is. We can probably ski there, right? I think I've relied on my uh, wooden plank legs too much. Come on. What's that weird beep? Can you hear that? I haven't just developed tinnitus in the last two minutes, have I? You guys could hear that as well. Where did the truck go? I think it's up these stairs. Yes, beautiful truck. How are you doing? Uh, we're Janet. We're just going to get inside there. Right. Whoa, why do we move so jittery? Oh my god, the sensitivity is something I've never felt before. It's one of their soldiers. Wait, we've been spotted. Oh my god, no. Why is the camera so sensitive when I try and move? Ah, ah. Let's go third person, really. Oh, oh my god, this is too bad. Let's go up here. <laughs> See if this will work. Oh, wow. My god. What kind of tyres are on this thing? Crap. That's bad. Go up a little bit more. I mean, probably, luckily for us, it doesn't feel like you're driving on snow. It feels like we're driving on a cloud. Which you could argue snow is kind of like a cloud, but it's not really, is it? It looks like a cloud. But we should be struggling driving along this. I mean, how deep is this snow? It's covering up Plenty of them trees. No, stop nitpicking. This is enough to give you motion sickness. Look, I'm slightly pressing my analog stick to the left. <laughs> There's no in between. It's either like jittery meth head twitch or nothing at all. Okay, can we get over that? Here we go. Maybe I should get out on the skis again now. I kind of feel like crash landing into this though. Yeah, let's try that. Goodbye, truck. You serve me well. Ski it. Ooh. Oh, it looks like a jump. Looks like a mad jump on the roof of that thing. Oh. Oh, crap. No, I'm on it. I need to get that. Wow. How does that work? <laughs> She's skiing up. And there's the, there's the weird beeping again. This probably isn't the best time to mess around, but come on, the game's asking for us to ski down that and jump it. How could we not? Do we leave footprints in the snow? Oh, we do. Kind of. They look awful, though. Okay, you ready for this? 
Will it go well? Um, wait, should we be... Sorry, I know, I don't mean to make unnecessary tension. Shit. Should we be scouting this out first? Because it says reek on them. Probably not. Whoa, I forgot about the zoom. Okay, okay, we're going to do it. Go, Janet, go. You got this. You got it. You're an Olympian. At the Winter Olympic... Oh, this is, oh, this is such a letdown. I'm so, I mean, I'm going to apologise on behalf of the game there. That may have been the biggest disappointment since... Hmm, Battlefield 5? Oh, God, that was so bad. Okay, destroy the heavy water shipping trucks. There's also an alarm there. How would we destroy them? We have no grenades. Obviously, I'm going to have to find them myself. Will they be hard to find? I really hope not. Alright, well, let's try and use some of the game's tools at our advantage. Loads of dudes there. Oh, oh, there we go. So, really, I just need to get close enough and shoot the barrels. Oh, is that a weapons case on there? Please work. Oh, I think that kind of worked. Don't want him to set up an alarm. Is that everything? Should we leave this? It was a pleasure being here. No, no. Come on. Oh, he got it. He got it. My aim was too bad. Shit. Are we on fire? We are. In a bad way. Whoa. Oh my god, where am I? Um, yeah, let's take this. Could be better for us. So we need to just ski out of here, right? Go, Janet, put your skis on. Ski off the roof. This could be cool if it works. Go, see you later. Thanks for having me. Oh, kind of awesome. Okay, that was, that was sweet. That felt really cool there, running away on skis. Skiing away on skis. But there is an abundance of trees now. I don't want to hit any of these. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, we could have got the ski lift, maybe. But this is some proper guerrilla warfare by Janet. Got one last thing to do. Is there a better vantage point for this one as well? I don't want to ski right into some enemies. Destroy the Docklands water shipment. Okay, so two this time. Is that a moving truck? Oh, it is, but it's moving away. Oh! I feel like he's too far for my skill level. He's looking in the window. Dude, there's a door right there. <laughs> Sweet. Do you see any alarms? Oh, maybe we can take that up. No. I think we can. So what was so interesting in here? What did I just do? Did I just swap a gun? No, please tell me I did not. What on earth? I did, I just swapped my silent pistol to jam it in the wall. Oh, this is the buggiest crap I've ever seen. You saw that, right? I mean, you're seeing it, right? Oh my god, that's made me so infuriated. I love that silent pistol. Now we're gonna have to go loud. Okay, we'll try not to let that dampen our mood, mood too much because Nordley's is way better than, uh, I don't know, Flag. Sort of story mission wise. It's just so buggy, this game. It may be one of the poorest single player campaigns I've ever played. I mean, I know that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I know it doesn't entice you to keep watching, but you're seeing for yourself, right? How, how just. Poorly, there's no love put into this. I'm definitely going to jump off that though. So a load of dudes. One dude. Let's get up there. Okay, destroy the Doctrine's water shipment. I really hope there's a bunch of red barrels near them all. I don't want to find some... I don't have to find a, like grenades or a grenade launcher or anything like that. Okay, make sure we don't accidentally fall down. I mean, that would kill us, right? Unless we ski onto it. Oh! Oh! No? Okay, you just fall through the gaps. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he saw me fall. 
Okay, we're going loud, whether we like it or not. Oh, maybe no one else saw that, actually. Where am I? No, I'm definitely stuck. Yeah, I'm definitely stuck. Oh, I hate everything about this terrible game. <laughs> Sod it all to hell. Where would it even start me from? Oh, there's nothing I can do. I'm stuck. What if I go prime? Save your money. This is terrible. Ooh, that's made me so bitter about this hash of a single player campaign. Luckily, I restarted the checkpoint and um, we only got to do this final objective. If you want to see any silver lining, we got our silence pistol back. But to encounter two bugs in that short space of time, oh man. It's just disappointing. So I love Battlefield as a series, as a franchise. And obviously, I haven't played the multiplayer for this yet. I've been too bogged down with other stuff. But if you're going to include a single player campaign, I mean, they might as well have just done a COD and not included it because this is so bad that it's actually making the game overall worse. Anyway, back on to uh, trying to deal with this heavy water. And he sees me, don't he? Could go prone. Looks like Crouch is doing enough right now. Yes, okay. Wow. Did not expect to hit them two headshots. But we did. Let's be thankful for it. Shit. Yes, okay, cool. Waste all our bullets on him. No, there's loads here. Don't you set that alarm. No, you don't. Disable it. Yes. Let me shoot the barrels. Blow that thing sky high. Right, okay, sweet. Whoa! <laughs> all that snow. Okay, let's move round to this last one. How many science bullets do we have? Not a lot. Oh, he sees me there. And do I have to get on the boat? Oh, he saw me. No. Okay, goodbye. Awkwardly shooting at him. Sod it. What are we going to do? Okay, let's just get on the boat if possible. We'll shoot more as they come. Does he see me? Oh, this could go very bad, Janet. I hope you're ready for how bad this could actually go. Okay, okay. And we're just going to meet him head on at the top of the ladder? <laughs> oh, he's such a dope. Oh, crap. Okay, who's the real idiot? Um, is that going to blow? Is that just a smoke grenade? Am I get off here now? I think I should get off it. Ah! I can't see a damn thing, can you? Okay, scout operation rendezvous, where's that? Let's just go. Should I get a truck out of here somehow? Nope. I'm gonna die. Oh, I have 7 HP. Come on, get your health back Janet, you can do this. Please survive. I need to get to the bunker, 700 meters away. I need another vehicle, don't I? Okay, yeah, look, there's our ticket out of here. That truck. Uh, any ammo, please? Oh, there's the uh, there's a rocket launcher. Let's take this. Please, dude, we're trying to get out of here. You could just not shoot at us. Or we could actually hit you, maybe. So we're going to take the truck and just drive. Never look back. Escape out of here. Maybe go south. Towards the equator. Um, if I get in. Now. Actually, no, we won't tempt fate. I was going to say I might just drive across the frozen lake. You know what? First thought's always the best. Let's go with that. <laughs> Here we go. Let's hope it doesn't crack under the pressure. Now, truck, I'm not calling you overweight, but you are pretty heavy. This is only ice. I'm sure you'll, you'll be fine anyway. I know you're looking to make a difference. I only want you to be healthier. I'm not trying to body shame you or anything, big truck. It's just this is thin layer of ice. At least it's not cracking, so you're doing all right. Yeah, we're going to make it fine. Of course, there'll be a load of dudes in a bunker we'll have to take care of. Okay, so I wonder how many forces fell back to the bunker, because that's what I heard the Germans say. How did Janet hear that? Did she just hear... She didn't hear it over radio, did she? We had this problem with uh, Billy Bridger and Mason when he was on the roof. He was speaking via radio, but we had no radio. Oh, right, maybe we could just pretend we're a German. 
get in through the gate here. Will it work? Oh, what side of the road do I drive on over here? Hello? Oh, that did not work. Okay. Oh no. No, no, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, Janet, I'm so sorry. I let you down. That was a silly death. I take all blame for it. Right, let's go again. Okay. Now, did anyone hear all that gunfire? Come on, drop, drop. There we go. I just want to disable the alarm. There's a dude right over there. Wow. Okay. I'll have to run towards him. I think I just shot his helmet off. Oh, there's another one there. I've only got 12 bullets left, though. Come on. No, no, no. We're going to die again. Ooh, what have we done? There's a grenade behind me. 9 HP. Out of ammo on that. 12 bullets left here. Where are you, dude? Yes, we got him. I think. Whew, okay. <laughs> now let's disable this and try and get some ammo from somewhere. Sweet, okay. Infiltrate, not through them doors, obviously. That was probably the worst way to go. Um, I'm going to have to take this because we need a decent gun. Oh, what's that, actually? Sure, we'll give this a go. I think this is what we used on the first mission. Oh, look at that weird scope. I'll probably hate it, but why not? Got some more uh, ammo for our science pistol. Right, we're in. This is where we're going to see all the weird hard water experiments. Oh no, is it heavy water or hard water? I don't know. Just don't need to destroy it. Sure, we'll take that. It must be heavy water. It's taking two men to move that stuff. It's Astrid. Oh crap. Oh no. Is this a quick time event? Shall I do anything? Go on, Janet. Give him the icy boot. Please, let's do a car chase. Oh, yeah, okay. One of these things. A snowmobile. Oh, it's going to be kind of fun. Destroy the final heavy water shipment. Okay, where do we go? Why is this moving so slow? <laughs> Whoa! Shoot weapon. Where is that coming from? They have like a satellite we don't know about. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Did I do that? It's not giving me a weapon to shoot. <laughs> Destroy the heavy water shipping trucks. Sure. If I only I knew how. Uh, it's just a race to the finish here. Crap, crap, what have I done? Um, okay, we're just going to go away. Oh no. weapon. Look, you see it as clear as day. Did you see it there? But no, that's our horn. So forgive me if that was incredibly stupid of me just to keep on going. But I thought this thing could shoot. Hopefully it can smash into explosive barrels. Oh, it actually can. Sweet. Okay, we got this. I really hope so because I don't want to keep trying it again. No, we've got a flamethrower. Get back, get back. Evil man. Does he like planes of his own? God! I've run out of freaking ammo! Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, cool, the last bullet killed him. Maybe that was a coincidence. 
Uh, we just picked up some explosives. Okay. Give me this. Right, now how can I blow you up? Like that? Oh, it wasn't close enough. It's close enough to one. Right, okay. Well then, if I put you here, what did I do? How enough do I use this thing? Oh, I think I did it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. On a submarine? <laughs> Is that really how they exit the water? Like a wannabe free willy? Maybe she's still alive? I mean, she's in hole. You would have maybe thought that grenade would have blown her to pieces, so there's hope. Thank God the heavy water sinks. Oh, what a valiant sacrifice from our mother there. Under occupation, countless acts of heroism and sacrifice would go unreported. To resist was to fight a war of small actions and narrow escapes, with the lives of one's family at stake. Many Norwegians would lose their lives fighting for the resistance. Heavy water was a vital ingredient in Germany's plans to produce an atomic device. A bloodless commando attack would destroy all Norwegian heavy water production in the spring of 1943. Germany's Uran project would fail to produce a functional nuclear weapon. Wow, so that was actually bloodless when it happened in real life. No one was killed, I guess it means by that. Unfortunately, we couldn't recreate that step by step, but... Very interesting. And that's our second war story done. Nordlies, I ranked that way better than the first, but still nowhere near as good as the 2018 AAA first person shooter campaign should be. This game is riddled with problems. I, th I think the most interesting things about these campaigns so far have been the sections of war they actually focus on, like the Norwegian resistance, um, the special boat sector, the weird, like the um, commando group made up of like criminals and stuff like that it's just the execution is so so poor it's really bad it's such a disappointment but Nordley's still was way better than Under No Flag at least I enjoyed playing as Janet so we have uh, one left to do before the last tiger becomes available on December the 4th I'm going to figure out how to say that before the next episode and so I don't butcher it or cause any offence here but if you enjoyed this episode of Battlefield 5 please go ahead and leave a like it helps me out a great deal and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we will take on the third and final current war story. Please get a subscribe, I can bring that to you. If you've got any questions you want to raise? What did you think of Nordlies as a whole? Have you got the same similar thoughts to me? Or do you disagree with my opinion? Please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you.